All right, hey everyone. Just want to point some things out here in the midday because we could be on the verge of a pretty meaningful sell-off. I mean, I obviously we were ready are. We broke our downtrend. I mean, sorry, uptrend. See, this is a trend line. It's really, it's not like a support level or resistance level. It's really just kind of a graphical illustration. I mean, that's the way I look at it. It's like when something finally crosses the trend line, it's like, hey, pay attention. Why, right? Yes, because if something is going up, it's going up. If it goes sideways for long enough, or if it starts to go down, it's going to cross this line. And that could be your first kind of wake up call. Like, hey, things are going to get ugly here or could get ugly or, or the trend is reversing. It doesn't need to necessarily get ugly. But I'll tell you why this is going to get ugly, I think, because we have the three biggest stocks in the market, Microsoft, Apple, and NVIDIA are all testing slash breaking support. So here's Microsoft, biggest stock in the market. There was support. You, you tend to get support at levels that were resistance, as we know, right? We talk about it a lot. Sellers remorse, people sell, and then they think they did the right thing. But when the price finally goes higher, a lot of the people who sold say, you know, I made a mistake. I'm going to buy my shares back if it gets back to my price. So that's why we had support there. But it looks as though this support is breaking. I mean, it's a little too early. The, generally, the closing price is the most important price today or of the day and today, too, because today is a day. Um, so maybe we get a little bit of a, of a pullback by the close. But you now this this stuff is looking pretty weak. And my guess is that all, it all breaks. Um, these three support levels we're going to talk about break. Here's NVIDIA. OK, so it's trading below this support. This is a situation where you have support at a former support level. This is also because of seller's remorse. People that sold here made it regret selling. And then when the price gets back to their level, if they could buy their shares back at the same price they sold at, they they do. So remorse will sell some here, place and buy orders here, created the support. But this is, uh, I think, something to, to look at here. Notice how this high formed at a lower level than this high. We call that, ap aptly enough, a lower high. And this is important because it tells us that as time is going by, the sellers are getting more aggressive. They're willing to sell at lower prices. So a lot of times if you get to support and you're looking to get some insight onto whether the support is going to break or not, if you look back and you see these lower highs, I mean, you could even argue that this was a third lower high right there. Generally, that's a good sign that the support is going to break. And we'll just take a look at Apple. So same thing here, like Microsoft, right? Found support at a level that was resistance before. And it's basically right on there. So obviously, these stocks are always important because they're the three biggest stocks. But I would say, as of right now, they're even more important than they usually are. Again, if these three support levels simultaneously break, let's see of the S&P 500, what percentage those guys are together. This is just the S&P, the SPY uh, ETF fact sheet. All right, so Microsoft, Apple, and NVIDIA. So we would say roughly Microsoft and Apple are about 14%, and NVIDIA is about 6.5%. So you got three stocks in the S&P 500. Remember, there's 500 stocks. These three make up 20% of it. So at the bare minimum, 20% of the market now is at important support. And if it breaks, we're going to get a decent move lower. But don't be afraid. If you're not an options trader, we can talk about some uh, inverse ETFs. We talk about them all the time. So please make sure you join us when we have our calls in the morning at 8. And I'll see you then. Thanks, everybody.